Hey guys, this is Cece with Flower in the Desert. I wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on in my garden since the last time we spoke. And um, I just wanted to show you around really quick and uh, give you just like I said, a quick update. I think it'll be fun. Let's take a look. Let's start with my um, little lemon tree. This is the improved mayor lemon tree that has actually finally dun 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 yay I got a flower it's beautiful and it smells it smells wonderful so that's what my favorite things right now going on my little mare I think I finally figured out what was going on by the way with this I remember I um I don't know if you guys remember I talked to you uh on my last video, I think it was my last video about this particular small tree that I didn't know what was going on. All the leaves looked like this one. As you can see, it looks much better now. Um, they're not curling up as much at all. And I think what was happening um, is that I was actually overwatering, overwatering it. Um, yeah, because as soon as I stopped watering it so much, it kind of came back to life and now i can even see a small new growth coming up you see it there new growth right there which wasn't happening before so this is within a matter of like a week or less I don't, seriously i stopped watering it as much and suddenly it just spring back to life so i'm glad i realized that i think that's what was going on um what else this little things here right now are my uh, mammoth um, uh, sunflowers. And now that I look at it, I think I have planted them way too close. Um, but uh, well, we'll see what happens when they grow bigger. And I might need something. I didn't realize how big this ones can get. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens in a little few weeks. Um, over here. I have, I don't know if I'll show you this one. I mean, I showed you this three before, but I don't know if I ever mentioned that it's actually still in a pot. I got this mandarin tree from a friend as she, when she moved. She was moving out of state and she had it in this pot. It was a little smaller when she gave it to me. Now it's getting bigger. And as you can see, it's getting taller and bigger and beautiful. Look at those flowers that are gonna be blossoming soon. Um, I'm surprised that it has so many flowers. I'm not honestly not expecting a lot of fruit out of this because it's still a small tree. But if I can get a couple mandarins, I'll be happy. Um, same goes for my little orange tree here. This is a dwarf orange tree, so it's gonna stay small, but of course, it's gonna grow a little bit bigger than what it is right now, probably a couple maybe what three or more feet uh, than what it is right now right now this is probably four feet tall um, I don't think it's gonna go any higher than eight feet eight feet tall so we'll see but last year I got about two oranges from this little one that was the first year in the ground this year I'm hoping I can get more at least four or five I don't know anything honestly I appreciate anything that she can provide for me and uh, another beautiful beautiful look at this and they're everywhere so that's really good news on this bar here is my and I think I showed you this one before I'm not sure but this is the little container uh, tomatoes that are called like packed I'm not sure but anyways it's wonderful so far so good I think producing a lot oh, can you see all that it's supposed to be cherry tomatoes a small cherry tomatoes and this will be one of my, actually, only one successful tomato plant so far. Because all the other ones I, I managed to kill. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I won't jinx myself. Some flowers and oregano. My oregano is doing great. Look at this. Mint. Rosemary. And here is my lime tree. Also, getting a lot of flowers too. Look at that. Oh, 
just can't wait. I know in the next week or so it's gonna smell marvelous around my yard and I'm hoping that we'll attract all these bees and everything will get pollinated. I know. Anyways, this is my little and I have not so far gotten any fruit out of this lime tree here. And I had it for almost two years now. So I'm hoping this will be the year crossing my fingers. This one. It's my forte avocado that I still have in a pot until I decide where it goes. And it's been doing great as well. So far, so good. Um, getting the new growth here. I'm not sure if this is going to be flowers or just some new leaves. I don't know. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. This is, this is, I don't know. Um, I mean, hopeful that this will be flowers, but you know. I don't want to get my house up too much. Oops, sorry about that. Put my finger in the camera. That's great. Um, what else? This is my Aravaipa avocado tree that is also doing great so far. This one's been in the ground since I bought it in November. Made it through the winter. Now here comes Arizona summer. We'll see what happens. Um, same question here. I see all this new growth and new leaves. And then I also see these little clusters here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Uh, are those flowers? I don't know. Time will tell. Something right there. I hope they are, but it could just be more new leaves. I don't know. There's more out there. Oop, right there. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm excited about that one too. And some herbs. My tomatoes are coming back to life. So, if, um, like I said, I tend to kill most of my tomatoes. There was another one there before, and uh, he's gone. He did not make it. Um, this one here is a small um, husky cherry red tomatoes and that one in the back is a better bush um, that one was almost completely gone after the frost uh, last month and it's coming back so I made a decision by the way I don't know if you remember guys I had this one in pots before and after researching and looking I realized that it's very very hard to grow this kind of tomatoes on on a pot they need to go out on the ground and since I've done that it seems like you know it's been doing great this one has flowers even which is amazing so we'll see <sighs> my peppers are not doing so well though <sighs> yeah not sure what's going on there but um, I'll get back to you on that one <laughs> I need to do more research and see if I can bring them back. Um, this happened after the last frost too. So yeah, and I think those bell peppers that you see there, um, I don't think they're growing anymore. So I'm going to have to cut them out of the plant here soon and see if we'll help it grow better and get more energy. I have some green onions here. Those were late broccoli that I planted late in the year and as you can see, going to flower now but I haven't taken them out of here yet because I'm trying to figure out how to get the seeds from it and once I do I'll show you guys some on a video how to do this um, I don't know if you remember I have some seedlings that I started I ended up putting them in this box right now so here it is this is just my mixed oops yeah, that's my mixed um, lettuce. This one is my urugula, I believe. Yes. And that over there, that tiny little one over there is kale. Next to chard. Um, chard is doing really well. I think I'm gonna try and find a, something to do with it in the next week. Maybe this week, some food. Here's some more mint. This little baby here is um spinach we'll see how this one goes it's a little baby still but um yeah seems to be doing well in the pot actually when i put it in here two days ago it was even smaller it didn't even have this too and now it does 
yay so I think it's like in the bigger container um, and yeah that's oh just the one last thing I've been growing some um, been trying to grow these strawberries in the pot I bought this all already from you know Home Depot they're organic strawberries and I have them here and they've been doing well so far I have some strawberries coming up as you can see they are doing well in the pot so far so good um, what I like about having a lot of things in containers is that I can move them around as needed I think I mentioned this before like a million times but um, with certain plants I think it's, I can control their environment better that way T uh, tomatoes on the other hand like I mentioned before they need to be in the ground and um, I think I found this spot I think we'll see let's just talk about it this in the next few months when Arizona summer is here and then we're gonna really assess if they're doing well but as I said before so far so good so this is what's been going on um, quick very very quick because I know some of you guys are probably wondering about the apple I'm sorry pineapple uh, that I planted here I think it's dead and I said this before still here I mean I still see a little bit of green I don't know <laughs> I'm not sure I'm still watering it we'll see <laughs> I might be watering a dead, watering a dead body here but um, yeah <laughs> we'll see I'll keep you guys updated on that one and yeah that's it nothing else to show so far but um, I'm sure the next few weeks will be great like I mentioned before all right guys it was good to talk to you to show you around I'm glad that we we're able to do this today and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.